Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my new shoes. So these are my new road bike shoes. These ones are by a company called Santic. They were sent out to me for free to review, but that's not for this video. This video, I'm going to be taking you through the differences between these shoes and my old shoes. So these are my old shoes, very dirty. Please don't judge me. I've been using them for about a year. Um, these ones are mountain bike shoes. So if you look at the bottom, here, you can see they have a very small mountain bike style cleat. So that's an SPD cleat. And on my new shoes, I went for the road bike style shoes. So these ones are SPD SLs. So if I show them both to the camera, you can see the difference in size. The reason I went for the mountain bike shoes to begin with is that they are double-sided and supposedly they're a lot easier to clip in. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying out the road shoes and seeing if they are actually any more difficult like they say on the internet. So let's find out. I'm gonna weigh each one and see which one is lighter as well. So let's find out. I've got one off the pedals of each. So this one is the road bike pedal. This is the mountain bike pedal. And let's see what the weights are. Both of these are pretty cheap pedals. I'll put the values of them in the corner. Neither of them are the lightweight versions. I don't have the budget for that. So these are just cheap and cheerful ones. Okay, mountain bike pedal first. Let's see. So this is 187.9 grams. And let's put the road bike pedal on. 152.7 grams. So already I have saved 40 grams just by using the road bike pedal. Okay, let's move on. So just currently installing these, I've just got one of them on. Um, this is the road bike pedal. This is the mountain bike pedal. So you can see the differences in the shape and the size here. So this is the mountain bike one. And as you can see, it's two-sided, so you can clip in on either side. And then the road bike pedal is just one-sided. This is the only side you can clip in on. If it flips over to this side, you've got to like do some acrobatics to get it to be the right way around. All right, so I'm gonna practice clipping in and clicking out on the smart train, and then I'm gonna head outside and see how they feel and then compare them. All right, let's try that. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Ooh. Right, so let's try this clipping in malarkey. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is challenging. Okay, there we go. One leg in. Let's do the other one. Okay, two legs in. Oh, all right. First impressions. This feels very, very strange. Almost as if I'm a bit taller than I was before. All right, let's practice clipping out. Easy to do on the left. Let's get that back in. Easy to do on the right. I've got them set to the minimum tension, so that's probably why. Once I get a bit more used to it, I'll probably tighten it up a bit. It's a very cold day, actually, and very gray. All right, well, I've reached the first impossible task as a roadie. How do you walk downstairs? Oh, oh, not easily is the answer. Okay. Let's go. Okay, that time was a lot easier. All right, today's supposed to be a nice chill zone two one. Not very long, maybe half an hour. Yesterday I did the Alpha Zwift, so taking it easy. So just out on my first ride with these new pedals. So just making sure they fit all right, making sure they're not like painful or anything like that. So I'm just gonna give you my first impressions based on this ride. It was about half an hour, so not too long. So at first, when I'm just riding easy like this, I thought they were fine. I need to move my seat up like a centimeter because the bottom of these shoes have a bit of distance. So I just need to adjust for that. I can feel the difference in my legs with that. But overall, so far, they are pretty good. Um, you can feel the contact patch is a lot bigger on these. So your feet feels a bit more planted on the pedal. So when I stand up out the seat to put some proper power down, I feel like my feet are swaying left and right, but I think that's a tension issue within the pedal itself. You can get an Allen key and tighten it up so you get a bit more tension in it. So I'm definitely gonna tighten that up and hopefully it will feel a bit more secure. So if you're watching and thinking, damn, what a cool jersey he has on. This is from Santic as well, the company who sent me the shoes. So they sent me some jerseys to review as well. So 
that'll be coming up later they have quite a lot of cool designs so be sure to check out their website linked down below but that was a bit scary I just got attacked by some dogs so after seeing the scary stray dogs around this area I decided it was time to head home right back to the studio all right, anyway, so I'm back from the ride and here are my first impressions. So the difference between these shoes is quite interesting. Firstly, there's a slight height gap in the size of the cleat. The road cleat um, pushes out about a centimeter from the base of the shoe, so you need to adjust your fit to take that into account. Also, the platform is a lot bigger, so you can really feel the difference in that. Um, I definitely need to adjust the positioning of this road cleat to get it exactly the same as the mountain bike cleat because at the moment they definitely feel a bit different so I'm going to adjust that and make sure they're all correct. So as for comfort they're both pretty much exactly the same. The new one does need a bit of time for my foot just to get used to it. The tongue feels a bit stiff but hopefully that will soften up over time. So the real main difference between them is the clipping in. With the mountain bike shoe, all you need to do is go down vertically on the pedal and it clips in which is very very easy. With the road shoe, you need to do sort of more like a, a downwards forward motion and then click in. So it's a bit more difficult, but I got used to it within one ride, so it doesn't really take that much difficulty to do. If you're new to it, then obviously the mountain bike shoe is going to be easier because doing this, just pushing straight down, is more easy than doing sort of like a clicking in motion like that. So yeah, the difference really isn't that bad. If you get shoes like this, the road bike shoes, it will not take you long to get used to it, but it is a different motion to the mountain bike shoes, so it's just something to bear in mind. All right, that's pretty much it for this. So let's just sum up. Which pedal is going to stay on my bike? And for the moment, it's probably going to be the road bike pedal just because I want to spend a lot more time getting used to it before making my final decision. Whether or not it will stay on for the long term is another matter indeed. But for now, I'm just gonna get used to it, adjust the tension in the cleat and make sure it works all right. So one more bit of news is I've set up a buy me a coffee page. So what that means is you can help me run the channel. It helps run any costs like, um, buying computer equipment, storage, editing, stuff like that. So anything you guys can spare, it really helps me out. It helps make the channel more sustainable. At the moment, I'm just making these videos from my spare room, so it's just all in my free time. So yeah, any donations will be really, really appreciated. Don't feel obliged or anything like that. Everything will still always be free. The only advantage to signing up is that I will put your name at the end of all the videos I make as a big thank you. So yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the video thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.